Hmm, bit of a tragic here. And we're back into Mage Knight. This is the night we've done all the setup last turn, so let's get straight into this with the Dwarf Dude. And he's going to start off with a Mind Steal. I love doing Mind Steal either first turn or last turn, because people spend a lot of time setting up. Oops, I can't take two dice. People spend a lot of time setting up their turn for the first turn, so it can really screw up their first turn and it can really screw up their last turn when they're trying to get those last points. It's the coolest card. So this is, we're actually paying it at night with the Black Mana, so we're doing the Mind Still variant, which means we not only do we get a Crystal of any type, I'm going to take a red. Not only do we take a Crystal of any type, we can actually keep one of the cards. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to take a green. Yoink. So I'm going to take a green card. And now we just go along and everyone's got to discard a card. So he'll discard move. He'll discard move. And oh, beautiful hit here. So he's got to discard either will focus or ambush. Um... Will Focus gives us a crystal and three to any block or attack. And Ambush gives us a movement, plus it gives us two to attack and four to a block. Now, we don't really need crystals. I actually think Will Focus is the one to discard here. Oh, no. Ambush is the one to discard. We'll get rid of Ambush. But he's actually going to pick it up and put it straight into his hand. Yoink. Nice. So that's a beautiful opener. <laughs> but it's not over yet because he's got uh, the source annoyer. So I think he's going to do that as well. And he's going to attack. So he's sitting on a standard dungeon, which I'm pretty sure we'll be able to kill because we've got those ginormous golems. We've also got Peaceful Moment in our hand, which is a fantastic card. This is one of my favorite cards six influence to spend on healing or readying units it's just so cool so for six influence right it costs one point of healing to heal for each level and it costs two influence per level of the unit to refresh so just to recap what that means is to refresh a golem costs us four influence and to heal it costs us two so six influence from peaceful moment can actually heal and ready a golem which is awesome. So we can actually use him to attack and we can use him to absorb and we can heal him. It's just an excellent, excellent little combo. So let's do that. Flip. Ah, oh, it's a wuss bag. So, well, here you go. We're going to do it right now. Six attack. We place, uh, place the damage on this guy. He absorbs three and then he gets wounded and that's three minus again so that's all the attack is absorbed no damage spillover so that's that's done and now we just need to attack him and kill him which is not hard we'll just go boom and take the red so that is four attack plus two that's six attack and he's gone as well you boink six five so he goes to what 43 and we get to roll the fancy dice let's roll the other way for this time Whoop. oh it's a spell how annoying oh underground travel ah wait underground travel i don't think underground travel is any good for him yeah so he's going to fly to here and look swamp swamp river so underground travel is actually no good because you may not move to or through swamps or lakes this way. So, yeah. So that is actually a good card normally, but it's useless for him. So that's out. We have ignore site fortifications, which is basically who cares. We don't really have site fortification. Oh, well, this guy's got a fortification. And then we have expose, loses resistances and gives us range. All of these don't really do much for me, but I guess I'll take Expose. Okie dokie. 
Now the uh, mana freeze is in, so no one can use dice right now. Okay, so we can't use dice. So it's basically delaying everyone another turn. This guy is six to attack, 14 or seven physical to damage. That's actually bad for us because our major attack is an ice attack. We do have Mysterious Box in hand. Now, Mysterious Box has weird timing on it. It says, remove and reveal the top card of the artifact's deck. This turn you may use Mysterious Box as if it was that artifact. So does that mean I can just do it now, reveal the card, and then any time during my turn, can I choose to use it? You know what I mean? It does have the little star at the top, which means you can do it any point during your turn. But as the moment that you reveal it, is that the moment that you have to play the artifact you reveal? I don't know. I really don't know how it works. Ah, oh, coffee is so good. I'll have to check out. Like I said, this is literally the first time I've played with this card. I don't know. For now, I'm going to... I suspect it's at any time because it's got the star in the top left-hand corner, which is the sim... Which is the... Which is like Mage Knight's version of the instant timing window. So, I don't really know. But we are sitting on a castle. Maybe we can recruit a nice chunky gold unit. Uh, castle. We've got golems. Nice. Four resistance is gorgeous. We've got five or uh, twelve. We kind of we need a city for that as well. And a hero. This guy's perfect. It's got cold fire block. So yeah, nine. Can we produce nine? We can easily actually. So we're going to tap our illusionist. That's going to give us four. Yeah, so that's going to give us four, and then we just do this for... Oh, well. During the recruitment phase, let's have a look at Mysterious Box. What have you got for us? Holy shit. Endless bag. <laughs> a lake. So that's f uh, influence four. So we don't even need to tap this guy now. So what I'm going to do, I'll get influence four from that. And then I'm going to tap this guy and take a white crystal. And then I'm going to go five, nine. So that is nine. And I've recruited this guy, he costs nine. Oh wait, it does have the two modifier. So what this means is that basically you need to, uh, oh, wrong, wrong rule book. What are we, Lost Legion, isn't it? Uh, yeah, so basically what this means is that it doubles your reputation bonus to make it harder to recruit for evil people, okay? So what that means is over here, oh, we're at zero, right? So it doesn't matter. But if this guy was recruiting, it would end up being two. This guy would be minus 10. Because <laughs> he's evil. Whatever, the point is we've recruited... You know what? Is that two fame going to do anything for me? One, two... I don't really... W I don't really want to use my mysterious box. So I'm going to put this back in my hand and choose not to activate that. All it's giving me is two fame, which is not too bad. So instead, I'm going to tap this and take that white, uh, take that white crystal back and use the four influence from here. So I've still created a uh, nine influence. And then I'm going to replace this guy with uh, this bloke. And when you replace a unit, they actually come in uh, untapped. So it's sort of like refreshed. And that way I can keep Mysterious Box for another time. Okay, so that's that. Four, what have you got for us? Again, we cannot use dice. Now, we do have Whirlwind, but we have no way of powering it. I mean, well, actually, we've got a discard and a crystal. We can actually power Whirlwind, but we have no way of actually blocking. What this guy can produce two block, two, three, four, five block we can produce without mana, actually. 
Let's see what we need. I think five blocks all we need. This guy's been revealed before because we fought him last turn. Yeah, there we are. So we only need five blocks. So I can spend my whole hand to kill this guy, which I guess I'm going to do. So that's two block. I'm going to discard a wound to increase it by one. So that is three block, four, five block. Okay, so that's five block. And then I go whirlwind, play this into the attack phase only. We pay with a white crystal. And then I discard a wound using invocation to create a black mana. And that destroys target enemy. And this guy is now dead. Yablamo. Crystals. Who needs, who needs mana? Come on. Mana's for fools. What are we? Six. 37. So that is 43 as well. You boink. <laughs> And we also get to roll this dice. Oh, I rolled it. I got an artifact. No, we're going to roll it. Gets an artifact too. Oh, wow. Banner of protection. You know, I really wish I had a unit to put it on. <laughs> How annoying. That is probably... One of the worst artifacts I could have drawn. I guess I could buy a unit at that monastery. Any units here have bought in the monastery? I can buy this guy at the monastery. Wow, that'd be awesome actually. I should buy that at the monastery. One little thing I forgot is that dragon is actually a Oh, it's actually an elementalist. Looks like a looks like a, a nasty dragon. But the point is that we get one of these tokens as well, which I forgot to give him. Fire gem, very nice. And also I got confused. I should have drawn two artifact cards from uh, here. So I guess I'll do it now. I'll just draw a second artifact. I got confused because there was already the gold artifact out. So there was two artifacts. So the way artifacts work is that you actually draw plus one. So if you if you earn four artifacts in the game in your turn, you'll only draw five. And it actually happens at the end of your turn. So after all the other cards get placed on top of your deck, if you gain any other cards, the artifact is always on top. But you're supposed to draw two, and I only drew uh, one. So let's reveal the next one. And it's Circuit of Proficiency, which is freaking awesome. But I'm putting it under straight away, and that just fixes that balance. Okay, whatever. And next round. He's... Should have taken a red crystal. I thought about taking a red crystal, but I wanted to get uh, a green. Because I wanted to power this and power this next turn. What have we got over here? Ooh, look at this. You know, that might be fun to get because there is a mountain right here. We could go bam. Bam, and then have access to both of these spots. I was thinking I could take this thing. That would give me... Oh, that's a green. I need a red. There's nothing here that produces a red crystal. Uh, well, that's really, really frustrating. I guess I'm just going to wait a turn. Boom. Okay, so he's... Uh, very happy about that. He slowed everyone down. And what mana is it? Oh, let's draw. Expose. We need the white. There's plenty of whites. We've got green. But I guess I'll take a blue crystal. So when I take my skill back, I get a crystal of one of the basic colors up there. 
Okay, so we're going to do our heal and we're going to do a move and we're going to do a flight. That's the plan. So I need a white mana. Bam. Okay, so this produces six influence. Four influence readies this guy and two influence heals that guy. Okay, and we're also doing two move and flight. So we go one, two over here. And now we're drawing to nine cards. Booyah. You're still drawing to seven. Okay, so we should be able to do this now. Let's do the reveal again. I've really got to check how this card works. Discard the card of any color. Use the basic effect of a spell the same color from the spell offer without paying its mana cost. Meditation. Randomly pick two cards from your discard pile. Ignore sight fortification. Enemies get minus armor. Or well, none of them are any good, are they? Guess I'll just leave that there for now. Put that back in my hand, I guess. I'm not going to use that, I don't think. So what we need to do is kill this monster, which should be not an issue at all. Basically, he's six, but we can use this ability to give him plus two, so he's actually eight. But this guy, we can actually block for eight. So we just go, bam, take the blue, and we have blocked this completely, and he's minus two. So it's actually only five to damage. Now the problem we're having here is that our major attack spell is actually ice. So we don't want to use that. We have two attack here. So we only need to do three damage to kill him. And there is a white right here. So we'll just go bam and play with a white and he's dead. So to recap, we used this ability to give him plus two, minus two. So that turned him into a eight attack, five armor. And because we blocked successfully by doing eight cold fire block, elusive doesn't trigger, which means he's only at five armor for us to kill. Okay. Because it doesn't go to the 14. Then we did attack three plus attack two is five and that kills him. So boom, that's another successful murder. And we didn't use this spell. Oop, wrong card. We didn't use this spell. And that is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is why I didn't use that influence artifact because I was going to level up anyway, and I didn't think it was worth, you know, I, I, I didn't think it was worth it to getting that two to spend the, spend the card. And that's actually a, uh, whatever you call it, a roaming monster. So we get plus one and well, that's that, isn't it? We get to level up now. What have you got for us? Oh. <gasps> That's the best. Oh, these are two of my favorite skills. I love getting this skill early. This is probably one of the best skills around, in my opinion. It's a competitive skill, though, unfortunately, so a lot of people don't play with it. But it basically means that any card you play sideways is four points instead of one point. And then it's got all these other effects that can adjust other people. It's seriously a seriously good uh, skill. And you can get, like extra power depending on how many people you haven't hired so basically when you play with this person i tend to, if i get the skill early i end up not getting units right because that basically it's just so strong so for every command token it gives you another plus one so if i didn't have any units it would be six for a sideways card and by the end of the game if you're up here you know it's like eight to play a card so i could do this for eight attack or eight block or eight influence or whatever. It's, it is seriously bonkers, this skill. I love it. But this is also seriously bonkers. It doesn't work on a magic immune creatures, but it just removes one effect. It can remove, it can't remove fortification, but it can remove, you know, 
resistances, elemental attacks, it can remove paralyze. It's a bonkersly good skill. Okie dokie. And that be that. Uh, oh wait, I've got to take a spell as well. Training. Pathfinding. So this is one of the new crystal generator. This is another new card from Ultimate Edition. You can gain a crystal of any color that you don't already own. And then if you've got a full set, you get bonuses when you use the power on the bottom. Now he's not really gonna get a full set anytime soon. So that's not really of any use to him. I think he's just gonna have to take this one here. Boom. God, another one. They're all coming out now. Explosive bolt. Nice. Range attack. Wish that was out. And this one is also a elementalist. So, your blamo healing herbs. I keep forgetting to draw these tokens. Whatever. Let's keep going. Four. Fourth player. Let's draw two, six. Okay, here's this card that doesn't do anything. At the end of your turn, you may throw away all wounds you receive this turn. I guess that's what I'm going to use this card for since I don't have any units. I now have Wings of Wind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's seven to get to to the last remaining, oh, there's another dungeon up here. There's only two dungeons left. I've got plus two movement, so that's just five, six, seven. That's seven movement, plus I need a crystal. I'll discard this, use evocation to produce a white crystal. And bam, so that's, Oh wait, it's five, only five movement. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, what if I don't do this? If I go through the, because there's a dungeon right here. So that's one, two to enter the dungeon. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight to get to there. So that's five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I still want to keep ones. I'll go eight. So that's five, six, seven, eight. Now, when you in Dungeon Lords, all the dungeons are connected, so you can enter a, a conquered dungeon for two points, and then it's one point per revealed space. So that's one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Yoink. Now the reason I'm chucking out this is because I've got this to heal massively and that will give me another big movement before the end of the night. Okay. And that is the end of that. Hmm. So that was a pretty slowed down turn because of all our tinkering with the mana source this guy still has to go three six maybe you should go maybe you should just go here what hasn't been conquered i've freaking conquered almost the entire map there's basically three there's one two three four five six places left seven places well i'll have to i'll have to uh plan this out but I think he's I think his only real choice is to go here okay well that's that I'll see you guys next time oh yeah this is also gone you don't have that crystal